ABC learns the hard way uh, that canceling Roseanne was a disastrous mistake by that conservative girl entertainment U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. On Tuesday, ABC made the decision to cancel Roseanne Barr's hit comedy, the highest rated show on television, after Barr released a tweet comparing Barack Obama's former aide Valerie Jarrett to Planet of the Apes. However, in the days following the initial incident, it became apparent just how hypocritical ABC's decision really was. Now the network has learned the hard way that canceling Roseanne has amounted to a disastrous mistake. On Tuesday, Roseanne Barr's pro-Trump comedy was canceled despite the fact that it was uh, the top-rated show on television after she released a tweet comparing former top Obama aide Valerie Jarrett to the Planet of the Apes. Uh, ABC has pulled the plug on the revival uh, Roseanne. The move came after a series, uh, after series star and creator Roseanne Barr made a comment on Twitter Tuesday morning referring to Obama aide Valerie Jarrett as looking like an offspring from the Muslim Brotherhood and the Planet of the Apes. I can't help it. It's so stupid. Anyway, Jarrett, an African American, was born in Iran to American parents. Okay. Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent. Uh, actually, Roseanne, yeah, uh, re oh, Roseanne's Twitter statement, let's go with the statement, is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values. Ye inconsistent with your values, you are the most disgusting uh, television show that I have ever witnessed. Uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, I forget the names of these shows that they had on, I mean, really disgusting, disgusting uh, shows uh, that they, they air. Nothing of value, nothing uh, related to family values. The ABC should be banned. Disney was outed. They were spreading perversion. I mean, really? These are, these are actually, actually Roseanne shouldn't even want to work for them. Uh, Barr deleted her tweet about Jarrett uh, not long after posting it. Yeah, she apologized. In the wake of the controversy, there has been a heated debate surrounding the double standard that Hollywood uh, seems to employ. Yeah, that's true. When it comes to right-leaning celebrities are permitted to say uh, versus uh, their liberal counterparts, you know. They can say whatever they want. Uh, no, but any conservative making a statement, oh, then all hell breaks loose. So White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders noted as much during uh, her daily briefing on Wednesday saying, uh, where was Bob Iger's apology to the White House staff for Jameel Hill, calling the president and anyone associated with him uh, white supremacist, to Christians around the world for Joy Behar, calling Christianity a mental illness. Yeah, she doesn't get canned for that. Nah, she didn't even apologize till like a, over a month later. Uh, where was the apology from Kathy Griffin? Um... And then uh, she goes further here, the, uh, you know, the profane rant after the president on The View. Where was her apology? And um, the photo showed her the holding Trump's head. Sanders uh, furthered, where's the apology from Bob Iger for ESPN hiring Keith Olbermann? Now that is a freaking disguise, you know, disguise actually. How is that man even watched? Uh, he's scary even to look at. So after his numerous expletive tweets uh, attacking Trump as a Nazi and even expanding Olbermann's role after the attack against the president's family, sure, they get, they get special prizes, awards, uh, they get extra income, they, they're... Uh, placed in better positions once they he, they go even go after the family oh then you know there's uh, all these perks that they're given 
Indeed, it seems wholly unfair and tremendously hypocritical for ABC to cancel Roseanne Barr's show, especially given its overwhelming success when other celebrities have also said uh, incendiary things and gone on to enjoy lucrative careers. The only difference seems to be that Roseanne targeted a well-known Democrat while her liberal counterparts took aim at Republicans. That was the whole thing. And she has deep ties, that Valerie Jarrett. She's, in other words, the, the dumb liberals, then they don't go after the real uh, crimes uh, plotted against America, and, and uh, they go after trivialities. Uh, so what does that tell you? What does that tell you? With uh, the controversy surrounding uh, ABC's hypocrisy still fresh, uh, it has now been revealed that the network stands to lose a whopping $60 million per year for their decision to cancel Roseanne. The abrupt cancellation of Roseanne will not come cheap. Although the decision was widely viewed as necessary, given the racist nature of star Roseanne Barr's social media attack on poor Valerie Jarrett, who wants to destroy the United States of America because her belief system is totally different from what this country was founded on. Uh, but let's overlook that. The former senior advisor to, you know, the sainted Barack Obama, uh, several uh, sources with knowledge of the situation suggest that uh, I should have said uh, King, King Barack Obama. Yeah, that's how they have him. Several sources with knowledge of the situation suggest uh, that, the, that ABC and parenting company Disney uh, could be on the hook for tens of millions of dollars and that doesn't include the foregone and revenue as broadcast number one show was expected to drive at least $60 million in its 11th season, according to Kantar Media, source The Hollywood Reporter. We now know that an agenda is more important to ABC than the company's bottom line. Absolutely. I mean, when you see these videos of the Disney characters and how they uh, put in uh, very sexually explicit material in children's cartoons, I mean, it is really sickening. So Disney is basically... Uh, Satan's uh, house, uh, Satan's church, that's what it, it should be called, a reference to actually, uh, which is a very scary thought uh, because they don't care about the bottom line. Yeah, because they've got tons of money from taking it from all of us idiots that used to buy these things for the kids, uh, thinking they were uh, good for kids, you know, you take them to see the movies, uh, you buy them the DVDs, and you're thinking you're doing, uh, uh, you know, something good for your kids. Meanwhile, they're, they're, uh, they're taking over the child's mind and putting things subliminally into their minds. I mean, it's sickening. They got us. We had to pay for this. And meanwhile, we're, we, you know, we didn't have any idea till, uh, actually myself, I should speak for myself, till recently a couple of years. Um, so we supported that. That's why 60 million actually. Yeah, I know they're, they're very cheap. They want to make their money, but I guess it doesn't, uh, doesn't matter to them because they want to push their agenda. So I agree with that. So Roseanne Barr, one shoulders uh, to think what they wouldn't do in support of the liberal agenda. They would do practically anything. So this was never about doing the right thing. If it were Jameel Hill uh, 
would not have a job and neither would Joy Behar, Kathy Griffin, or Keith Olbermann. ABC took the first opportunity they could to take down one of President Donald Trump's most vocal supporters. And now the network is paying the price for their hypocrisy. Uh, but at the same time, they don't care. They don't care because this is it. You see? Uh, and uh, they, th I'm not sure, like, uh, if they um, put in, uh, put on the show uh, Two Broke Girls, because that's what it reminded me of. What a disgusting show. What a disgusting show. You know, I mean, really? You know, and th the thing is, I find it disgusting. When it first came on, I said, at this time slot where the kids are watching, you know, I mean, I was like, what? You know, I mean, it, it, it's, but again, people are busy with their jobs. They're busy with things. They don't have the time to actually see unless somebody wakes them up and tells them, hey, you know something, this is going on. How are you going to really basically understand what's going on? Uh, the computer has helped, uh, you know, the internet uh, has helped a lot, a lot of people waking up, and I'm happy at least for that. But, it, you know, it's good and evil both ways. I don't know what to say. I'll, I'll stop rambling. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.